Um, we, I introduced the film at Sundance and um, Holly, who was the then president, and Martha Adams, the creative director, who's still the creative director, we spoke about how we were going to go globalize and basically achieve scale with um, this model of creating awareness. The whole concept of telling this film was to create awareness so that people are feel moved enough to want to do something. You can't do anything if you don't have information and knowledge because that is key and that is gold. So we decided that we were going to find ways in, in order to go global. And the first thing I said to them was, what about India? What about my home country? What about my home, actually, um, where I feel there's much to be done, um, where, the, where I feel the country's actually ready, we're technologically getting super advanced, everybody watches TV. Like, well, well, I just read statistics that uh, on a daily basis, it's about two and a half or three hours of television that is watched in every household. Um, and, and, and yes, and our youth are raring to go. Our media is raring to go. What about India? And I had no idea they would take me seriously. It was taken seriously, and yeah. rightfully so, Girl Rising India was launched. Well, we have, actually, we have uh, Needy Doobie, maybe, uh, I think, is backstage. Yes, we have, we, uh, we have the point person for Girl Rising India yes. with us. Needy, join I us, have please. To, come on in, Needy. Woo! <laughs> I, have to, I have to say, she's my boss. <laughs> <laughs> I am so proud to have a boss like her. She's a human rights lawyer, our country director of Girl Rising India. And when we came into India as a dream, we f completely forgot that the 1.2 billion population would need to have someone who championed it day in and day out with every breath. Mm -hmm. And that person for us has been Nidhi. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So tell us, so how has the rollout been and how's the reception been here in India? Um, Girl Rising, like Frida was talking about, it's such a beautiful dream project. And I think it is all about, like we've been talking about something since morning, storytelling for behavior and for mindset change. Uh, so like Frida mentioned, we brought it to India last year with a meeting with the Prime Minister, partnering with government, the Beti Bachao Beti Parhao campaign, and also partnering with Star TV, premiered it, and then reached out to millions and millions of people. And very soon realized that we cannot just talk about it at a mass media level. We really have to go on the ground. So we started working in the villages of Rajasthan and Bihar, working with adolescent girls and boys, parents, teachers, religious leaders, Sarpanch, you know, all the village elders, and bringing them together, talking about uh, the role of education and getting girls to school. It's really, really inspiring to see that in the last one year, we've had, you know, in the Tikri village, Alwa district, Rajasthan, um, playground where little girls could never step into are playing cricket with boys. And it's, you know, taking the film and the stories from the film, it's just inspiring because it just really touches the heart. Just recently, we launched a campaign where the whole theme of the campaign is about inspiring parents to dream big for their daughters, like they do for their sons. We mm -hmm. dream, we rise. And it's beautiful to see how this movement is catching on. And thanks to Frida and Frida bringing other celebrities you know, on board who's giving you so much momentum to the campaign. It's great. It's great. What you guys do is great. Since we have both of you, uh, we have some questions coming through social media. Maybe you could both address them, you know, this being Google, of course, we've got high tech here, so maybe we'll flash, <laughs> them, up on the, flash them up on the screen. Um, let's see, there there was, a, it was a survey across Facebook and Twitter. Here's the first one. Do you think brand movements promoting gender equality are actually promoting a bias? Do you think brand movements, I think you should answer that. Do you think brand movements promoting gender what, What's he brand? Do you think... Okay. Um, it is a little tricky one. Uh, I just feel like using any platform, whether, you know, brands promoting movements. Personally, I feel any opportunity uh, to promote this cause is a good one. But of course, there is a lot of trickiness about, you know, brands promoting uh, equality, whether there is a bias, because we've seen some case studies of that as well. But I would still feel that any opportunity to promote is, is a good one. 
I don't see how equality could be a bias, but... Uh, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I think there needs to be also consistency. Uh, it can't just... Uh, when brands promote, uh, I guess, a cause, um, they're also promoting themselves in, in a way, which yeah. is not a bad thing. Um, however, when the consistency of it fails, I think that's when there is a loss of faith uh, from consumers, buyers, and from the people they're trying to affect. And I have my own personal experience with a certain brand, which I don't wish to name, but it was a sanitary pad brand that did a test in Uttar Pradesh, and um, they supplied girls uh, with sanitary pads for about a year, uh, just to test if that would increase the number of girls going to school. And the second year onwards, they couldn't fund the campaign, which it was really surprising. I mean, you're just providing sanitary pads and you're telling me you can't fund it. And it wasn't, it, it was not a monetary thing. It was just that they needed to expand somewhere else. And so they cut the supply in the second year. So there was this whole group of girls entering puberty and a couple of girls for a year who had enjoyed the comfort of actually having a sanitary pad and not a cloth, who were just, just shocked and disappointed and, and disrupted because of it because they suddenly felt that this was it, you know, the candy was taken away from them, and that was very disappointing, yeah. Okay, so if you get into something, stay with it. That's stay the moral with there. Okay, next question. Why do the words surgeon, cop, pilot, boss, wrestler bring a male face to our minds? Well, sorry? Yeah. Well, I can't, because you go for that. Yeah, you go right up there. Oh, there, okay. The yeah. Surgeon, cop, pilot, boss, wrestler bring a male face to our minds. It is, it is so true. This is the deep-rooted mm -hmm. uh, stereotype you know, that we have, and this is what our campaigns, you know, working towards just breaking that gender stereotypes. Just last month, actually, we were in the villages in interiors of UP, and we played this little exercise of, you know, what girls and boys wanted to be. And, you know, girls were coming up with this slate and, you know, writing with chalk saying, Prime Minister, Surgeon, Doctor, and, and bo there were boys who, you know, want to be singer, chef, and so it's, you know, it's just so created, mm. uh, but it really, really need to break. It's a stereotype that we need to break away from. I guess it goes deep down into the boys don't cry, girls play with dolls. Exactly. Um, and there's just so stereotype. much pressure, I think, on the boys also. Yes. I mean, they're just not supposed to be crying because they're boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Watch more Frida's movies than, you know. Yes, please do. <laughs> you will be crying. <laughs> All right, next question. Speaking of uh, stereotypes, what impact can positive personalities in the limelight have on breaking gender stereotypes. Stereotype. What a perfect segue, your last answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, we do play, we can play a very, very important role. I mean, just today, tonight, for example, you're going to see on stage every possible prominent Bollywood celebrity who's going to go up there and either speak about a cause that they have been supporting. Um, Mr. Bachchan, for example, for years has been talking about the polio campaign and about two, two and a half years ago, India was declared polio free, but it was his commitment to the cause and his constant um, um, dedication in terms of the time, effort, his uh, presence that he gave to the cause that actually, you know, um, uh, what was the campaign called? Uh, ek, ek ki. Sindagi ki, yes. And I think that became synonymous with Mr. Bachchan. Mm -hmm. So I think there is so definitely... going back to the consistency, you talked about staying, staying Absolutely. Absolutely, because now, even as of today, I was a child when I would hear that, but even as of today, when the first thing I hear about the polio campaign, the first person who comes to mind is Mr. Butchen. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I, so I do think there is a very important role that you can play, but um, the lack of consistency can be a real problem. In fact, can also be sometimes negative. Who, uh, who's going to the Global Citizen Festival tonight? Raise your hand. All right, well, speaking of consistency, we're going to see these guys talking about uh, these issues, they're very important. Uh, it's great to have a platform like this to talk about them. Absolutely. It's great to have a big platform like we're going to have tonight to talk about them. But thank you both for your work uh, here and around the world. We, we appreciate it. We thank appreciate you very much. Thank, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you, Nidhi and Frida, for sharing such unique insights with us. And of course, thank you, Mr. Lane, for moderating the discussion. As you all came in this morning, you. No, no, no. Very happy that Global Citizen India has finally happened. It's been a dream for, for, for almost like two years now, um, since I first met um, um, Hugh Evans of Global Citizen. 
the international team. So I'm really glad that it's finally happening. I think the main uh, purpose is to make sure that the, the people of India are aware of what we are up against in terms of the obstacles and how we can actually overcome it. It's great for corporate India to come in and actually finally show a commitment, but this time your commitment is accountable because you're making this announcement in front of 80,000 people at the concert, but then we're also going um, live on television so that way everybody across the, uh, the nation will actually see your commitment and will hold you accountable. So that's really, really good. So I think it's really important for things like this to actually happen on, a, on, on scale. क्या चेंजेस देखते हैं आप जब अपने आप को देखते हैं कि पहले की जो फीमेल्स हुआ करती थी लेडीज हुआ करती थी और आज बहुत चेंजेस आए हैं बहुत चेंजेस आए जस्ट लुक एट कॉर्पोरेट इंडिया इट्स एल्फ दैट इट्स एल्फ हैज चेंज द होल फेस ऑफ हाउ वुमेन आर नाउ इन द पोजीशंस ऑफ सीईओ सीओओ एमडीज एंड आई थिंक दैट हैज चेंज इन अ बिग वे लेकिन बहुत सारी चेंजेस अभी होने को हैं क्योंकि देयर इज अ लॉट ऑन द ग्राउंड लेवल एट द ग्रास रूट्स लेवल दैट स्टिल हैव टू बी फोकस्ड ऑन एंड पुश्ड फॉरवर्ड एजुकेशन इज की जब तक हर लड़की इस देश में स्कूल नहीं जाएंगे there will be no change you know so i feel like you have to make sure that every little girl from the age of 4 3 actually or 3 or 4 whatever it is that is the primary school um ends up being in school and getting a quality education ek cheez to hai to education milna hi hai dusri cheez jo hai wo quality education hai uh quality education ke bina you know you'll get an education but it won't give you um what do you say you know table table ke jo pair hai jo weak ho jate hai na वैसे नहीं करवाना है यू हैव टू गिव दम स्ट्रॉन्ग स्ट्रॉन्ग फाउंडेशन स्ट्रॉन्ग फीट इन ऑर्डर टू टेक द दे ड्रीम्स फॉरवर्ड आपने पर्सनली कोई वन सेकंड वन सेकंड लेट हर आस्क यू लास्ट वन क्वेश्चन वन सेकंड कितनी डिफिकल्टीज हुई पूरे इनिशिएटिव जब आपने लिया और अब तक कितना आपने पाया कि बहुत कामयाब रहा कितना आप अपने आप को कितना जो कॉर्पोरेट लेवल या फाइनेंसिंग या फंडिंग लेवल की डिफिकल्टीज है वो इसके बारे में मुझे मत पूछिए प्लीज क्योंकि मैं मैंने मैं ज्यादा इन्वॉल्व नहीं थी उसमें लेकिन डिफिकल्टीज बिल्कुल रहे हैं क्योंकि you know we we are doing this for the first time on such a big scale in india you know it's not easy having coldplay jz demi lovato ar rahman all these bollywood actors mr bachchan sharuk khan all on one stage so you can imagine security level has also had to be up you know so this little um um uh, the cogs in the wheel that actually make the wheel move has been a process but um a very happy one you know just to see it actually happen after dreaming it two years ago हिंदी आपने कितना फीमेल्स को जिस तरह से आप बता रही हो की एजुकेट करना बहुत जरूरी है आपने कभी कोई एफर्ट लिया है उसके बेनिफिट भी देखे हैं हमने You know, I think sometimes they say, "No, charity starts at home," and I hate the word charity. ये word charity मुझे बिल्कुल पसंद नहीं है क्योंकि any time you use the word charity, आप सोचते हैं कि आप you're higher than the other. I think it's responsibility, which is a much better word than charity. Ah, uh, क्या? Oh, okay. I got confused. So I think it's uh, when you say it starts at home. I have my own house help who's been with me for many, many years, and I see her daughter is actually now an editor. for marathi films and she, the only way she would get there is if she had the basic education you know in filmmaking her mother sent her to school lekin usko ek step aage jaane ke liye you need an educational fees in order to send her to a film school and um um my family supported her and um she's now an editor for marathi films and that makes me very happy you know she wants to do something that is different or and kudos to her mother to let her do something like that up वैसे भी आपको पता है कि फिल्म इंडस्ट्री एवरी इट्स फिकल व्हेन यू आर गोइंग टू गेट योर नेक्स्ट पेचेक इवन यू डोंट नो राइट सो इट्स लास्ट क्वेश्चन इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट मदर क्वेश्चन सो एक सेकंड जिस तरह से सरकार ने फैसला लिया 500 और 1000 के नोट्स को डीमोनेटाइज करने का क्या कहेंगे आप कुछ पर्सनली आप लोग कुछ वेयर्ड इफेक्ट कर रहे हैं कुछ भी कुछ तैयारी कर रही है काफी लोग आपका वेट कर रहे हैं सॉरी 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 मुझे हिंदी मूवीज के लिए कोई Um, okay, let's just, you know, now that I have all these cameras and mics in my face, let me just try to put an end to this. I don't think there's ever an end to this, right? Okay. मुझे हिंदी फिल्म्स में काम हाँ Oh God! She asked me the question, so I'm looking at her obviously. Okay, I have no problems working in in Hindi language films. In fact, I have worked in Hindi lang language films to the extent that I've done. half marwadi film as well and i couldn't even speak marwadi but <laughs> krishna i had to learn how to speak marwadi dhyan rakh jo you know i had to learn all these things but the thing is it's not about who is in the film it's the story for me 
So I'm, I actually have a fantastic store, film coming out next year by first time filmmaker Tabrez Nurani, who is Indian, Indian passport, Indian. Okay, he was the uh, one of the producers on, of Slumdog Millionaire, and he's done this fantastic film called Love Sonia, and Anupam Kherji is in, in it, Adil Hussain is in it, this fantastic Murnal Thakur, this new, new um, this t young television actress is in it. So in my opinion, I am doing Hindi language films, or my Hindi me baat karti and I play a fantastic. Um, Dancer, I won't tell you more. Oh no, I was on a panel with another woman, so I was not, I did not really interact. Oh, no, so you and I am interacting with women, no? Really? <laughs> they are fantastic. Or like personally, what kind of effect has happened to you? Sorry. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.